Bum, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. So, we're going to jump right into it. Not going to be a bunch of, hey, thanks for coming, subscribing, and all this other stuff. So, you see the title. Uh, where have I been? What have I been doing? It's been over a month since I posted a video. Uh, the last video that I posted was for Kimimoto. Some of their products, their installs, and such. video there's more of those to come they are coming um, the installs product reviews and stuff like that so why haven't I been posting some uh, as many videos and whatnot that's going on honestly uh, just been taking a break from everything now I have been super busy been working on stuff um, the G itself replaced a lot of suspension components and stuff basically refreshed the whole front end um, got it knocked out I was going to do a bunch of recording as far as you know parts installs and stuff and go through it but honestly I worked on it all at night uh, here in the driveway so I didn't feel like the video would be that great and I was trying to hurry up and get it all done because the only thing that I really had to drive back and forth to work at the time, uh, super dependable, was my truck. And we all know about what diesel prices are right now. I'll touch base on that a little bit on how fuel prices are affecting uh, the channel and what I'm doing and stuff like that. I'll go into some details. This might be kind of a long video. I'm just now starting to record it. So if you guys bear with me, I'm going to show you some things and show you some projects we've been working on. Uh, to make our summer more enjoyable. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by, clicking on my video. If you've made it this far, go ahead, drop a like, uh, throw you some comments down in there. Uh, we've got some more stuff to touch base and go over. So, let's get right into the beans.
Yankee Hall. So if you just watch that clip, we did some extra work on the track itself. So our little hump that was over here, it's now gone. We took it and we used the dirt to bring this on out, make this turn wider because it was kind of kind of cut right in here and there wasn't as much banking. So it didn't make for a the the way that it ran you would have to run a line and then come back down super close if you tried to run it out you ran out of bank and it would go flat and then you would go into that hump now if you took the inside line here and tried to come around and cut too close you could go over the hump and into the trees so say a four cart race or even two carts and they're running close side by side that would kind of make it wonky uh, flip going to the trees. I don't think speeds would be a huge factor here coming out So we modified it um, We have had some heavy thunderstorms that's come in we packed it real good But it needs to be drug and watered and packed down pretty good Been trying to find time to use it um, We did on Memorial Day. We was out using it Um and did pretty good. I found another spot that I need to do some work on down here. We'll take a look at it. So right here, as you can see this line, it kind of dips in right here. I don't know if you can see it at this angle or if the, the camera can capture it. So the way the bank runs, it runs pretty smooth. And then it just kind of dips in. And I need to flatten this out some more because we actually use some racing go-karts the legit ones they're low to the ground flat bottoms i drove it come around through here it wasn't nearly as smooth as it needs to be but it's all a work in progress uh, i was hoping to have some some type of races and stuff going uh, not as much interest as i predicted or you know not getting out but in due time, we shall have some uh, interesting stuff going on with the track. I've got to uh, accumulate, even if it's personally for me, accumulate, get some more carts. Um, so even some of my close friends want to race, but don't have carts. We can have some race, have some weekend shenanigans. Now, let's touch base on uh, another question. So riding, um, a lot of you come here from the off-road videos and such. Um, I hope the sun's not making a big glare. I'm trying to walk over here to the shadows. So uh, going out riding, off-roading, and wheeling and stuff. Well, I haven't. We've been out riding. I just haven't posted any videos about it. Um, the reason why is we haven't really rode anything that was worth recording uh quick trips short trips stuff like that um we went to wildcat we did some wildcat things we gotta use momentum you're good straight back straight back you're good that look way badass though. Come on back, straight back, you're good. Joby?
How many numbers do you give that? One through ten. Which number are you gonna give it? Two. You'll give it a two? Okay. Muddy meatball. been to wind rock we've been to roll blue and stuff it's just not worth uh recording the whole trails and and putting them up like just this the stuff that we've been riding birthday rides leisure rides nothing wild nothing crazy and another part of it is um due to fuel prices said i would touch base to that so fuel prices right now currently as it stands um, June of 2020 fuel prices uh, diesel is I think the closest gas station to me is 589 a gallon so I have went from filling my truck up for $45 $50 to uh, $150 also 93 uh, octane in which the maverick uses is up to about five dollars and a half a gallon uh prices may vary depending on location so our uh quick trip uh hundred dollar weekends you know you count in fuel for uh i think wind rocks like an hour from here roll blue uh pickets a couple hours from here uh less than two maybe um our hundred dollar weekends you know you could pack fuel uh, food whatever it is that you need uh, within the weekend and have a weekend complete for like a hundred dollars is not feasible anymore could i afford it yeah uh do i want to no it's kind of it sucks the fun out of it when you you kind of have to spend that much money uh what is everybody saying let's go brandon um not getting into politics and stuff with the channel but you know I, I feel the same way that a lot of americans do right now with the whole situation with the economy so that entails um while I haven't been riding as much uh, that applies for a lot of guys across the board so 
I hope to ride more. Hope to get out and ride more. That may change tomorrow. May change the next day. Uh, I'd like to go check out some other places. Uh, I've noticed that there's a couple other channels uh, posted stuff about AOP, Adventure Off-Road Park, which is not but a couple hours from here. I was trying to go there last year. Um, uh, it seems like a pretty cool spot. I was trying to organize getting go, go there last year. Wasn't able to. Um, Windrock. Uh, I would go but Windrock's in our backyard. Um, been all over that park. There's fun stuff. Uh, just wanting new stuff. But I'm not really able or wanting to travel due to fuel prices and the cost of everything. And I apologize if this video is boring. It's just going to be a lot of talking and showing you guys what's going on. Um, but yeah, just kind of anticipating if there is going to be an economic crash. Um, you know, save up some money. Be ready for it. Because I went through the one in 2018. Or no, 2008, sorry. Uh, the one in 2008, and it was kind of... Uh, uh, it was bad at the moment. I was becoming a, a, a bigger adult and venturing off into the world, and then boom, everything went all to shit. Thanks, Obama. But also, I'm going to show you another project, something that I've been working on. Uh, short bus shoddy. Uh, my neighbor helped me on. So I'm going to show you this project. Uh, and on the way there, If you've seen some some of the older videos, some stuff that we did last year, this is kind of like a, a in the making for the last year. So I'll put a playground up, and this is all going to come together as one piece. I'll explain to you what's going on. So we put the playground, got everything set up last year for the playground. Needing some new mulch, put all that down last year. Whenever I came back from Moab, but have collected pieces, I'm getting a pretty good playground set up. Um, I am actually looking to add another piece to this to kind of make it set up and where my truck is I would like to put a basketball court uh, flatten that out make a half court basketball court and the main goal to all this is um, having a place to hang out uh, kids to hang out adults to hang out everybody can come together you know my friends and and whoever decides to stop by um, basically getting back to those hundred dollar weekends uh, not traveling not doing as much uh, or stressing about how i'm going to do this or how i'm going to do that work plays a big factor too so i'm going to show you guys a clip right here before i get too far into it took a few of the pickets off Starting on doing all the edge disassembly and everything. Getting all that down. Visual reference. Let's see if we can capture the size of the porch in conjunction with the pool. So in that clip, you see the old back porch. Now you've seen the videos, uh, we were putting in a pool, we were digging some dirt, put a pool in last year. Um, I didn't want to build a deck last year because the prices was so high uh, for lumber and everything. I built one for my dad and it was like $1,800 in material at the time. And it wasn't super big. Um, so I just got tired of waiting um it was either spend money and going on trips you know for the weekends or put money into something that we could enjoy every enjoy every single day of the week so we turned that small deck back porch whatever you want to call it into this so this is what i've been pouring my money into it's not finished it's not 100 percent finished uh, still got to do the railings and put the gates and stuff up, but we've actually been enjoying this. So, if you could tell, we've been out here, we've been enjoying it. We already got a few things. Uh, kids are living it up, they're doing their best.
it is roughly a 900 square foot 30 by 30 it takes a little bit out with the way that the house comes out but like i said you know a place that maybe the kids can go over there and enjoy or they can enjoy the pool or deck space you know adults can hang out we've got the go-kart track i'm hoping more people get in on this uh, i can start organizing and we can have some private fun private races and whatnot uh, track does get used but not enough kind of it's a little boring just out there driving one cart at a time when we had three on memorial day it was it was a party it was a good time but anyways back to the deck yes i know lumber prices are and was insane whenever i started building this but it proves in good favor we've used the pool probably a lot more this year than we did last year because we have quick access we had some got us some steps installed and everything those worked out great uh, shout out the blackstone for an awesome product fun fact got that cover for my blackstone for 25 bucks looked up on that one night but yep so that answers the questions of why haven't I posted? Where have I been? Uh, what's going on with the channel? Like I said, um, we've got some more product review stuff coming. With, um, parts from companies. Uh, uh, Kimimoto uh, is supposed to be sending some more products out. We're going to do some more stuff for them. Shout out to those guys. Uh, appreciate you trusting us. Um, to put together something for you, you, you know, if there's any other companies, I got an email this morning about other product installs and reviews and stuff for the X3. Um, I'm going to have some of those things. Those are pretty cool. I like doing those. Those are uh, awesome. I feel like people like those. Uh, they're a little more entertaining. Um, you get to want to buy stuff out on the market. And it's not, uh, if you can't find a whole lot of information about it. Um, touch and base. Yeah, I've got some, I, I still got some work and stuff that I want to do to the truck. Um, it needs some love. The G's got parts. I'm going to try to do a lot better on having patience and setting up my cameras and stuff. Um, doing work, doing like time lapses stop them with the explanations and stuff the hard part really is is that i work at uh i work on stuff at night and in the evening time and not having a lot of lighting now i probably could correct that by buying lights and putting them around me and getting them set up but when i get in work mode like i'm i don't like for it to drag out now unfortunately with my luck when i work on projects and stuff it does drag out uh, a five minute job can turn into a five day job like that. Anybody that works on anything uh, mechanically wise knows how that goes. So I'm done a lot of babbling uh, and gibbering on and, and whatnot. Um, appreciate everybody's patience, the support, and I can see that the channel's growing. Um, we've got some sponsored riders. Uh, go to the Instagram page, Full Ye Adventures check that out uh, we've got some uh, people that I am now sponsoring so if you want if you want more information on that go to the Instagram and check that out You'll you'll see that and then you can go follow those if you like what they're doing and what they're going on what they got going on there'll be more of that to come hopefully here in the future so uh, I'm gonna end that I'm gonna say peace out guys again appreciate your support if you've made it this far and you found you know you found my channel and you you've made it this far into the video go ahead and hit the subscribe button we have officially went over 2200 subscribers that's not the biggest but it's actually pretty big whenever you started from nothing so again peace out guys hope y'all have a great day a great week if you don't have another video out before the 4th of july hope everybody has one of the best damn holidays there is in the world Independence Day. Yee yee, by God.